Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Sherman. In this session, we are going to talk about one of the financial technology company platform which is PayPal. Okay, so we are going to talk like how we can utilize this PayPal application or platform in order to uh, use it for our day to day life task. Okay, so this is one of the most popular financial tech uh, platform that we can use in order to make some transaction okay and uh, to make the use of uh, financial things in a simpler way okay so if I talk more about the PayPal then it, it is a American based multinational financial technology company operating an online payment system in more than 200 plus countries even more than that okay so like this platform is mainly popular for providing the financial uh, uh, ways to uh, transfer the money from one place to another or from one person to another so there are many advantage of using this application okay so in this particular session we are just going to talk about one thing which is how we can set up the account for our PayPal okay so we are going to see like how we can create the PayPal account what are the basic steps that we are supposed to follow and then later on we will see we will also cover the basic to advanced level things related to this application okay so first of all what you can do you can simply search uh, this term which is PayPal on the uh, search engine for example I am using Google so I can simply write it PayPal here on the Google then you can simply click on one of the link which is on the top you can see digital wallet money management and more PayPal you so just simply click here once you click on this uh, link it will open this PayPal website which can provide you all the information related to your transaction system which is PayPal okay so for using this application first thing which we are supposed to do is sign up right so how to do sign up what is the process to follow that we are supposed to follow in order to perform sign up operation so to perform the sign up operation or maybe if you want to check out more details regarding this website you can simply scroll it down and it will provide you all the information here even you can see the number of users that are currently using this application across the globe okay so there are many users who are uh, using this application or the platform in order to perform their transactions okay fine now what we can do we can simply click on the sign up button in order to create a, uh, create an account so we have two ways or you can say a two method to join PayPal for free which is individual account by creating individual account by creating business account okay so what is the difference between business account and individual account so in case of individual account you can send payments only okay so here you can see the two points mentioned over here pay your uh, pay for your shopping worldwide get covered 24 7 from online and online and card fraud okay so these are the two feature which comes with individual account then we have business account so in case of business account we can receive and send payments suitable for individual who wants to receive payments seller uh, freelancer and business okay receive and send payment overseas yes with the help of this platform you can send the payment and receive the payment overseas if you are using the business account and there is no setup meant and maintenance fees for this account clear fine so now let's see how we can create the individual account so firstly we will talk about the individual account so simply click on this individual account button uh, just select this and click on next once you click on next it will ask you for the email address okay so here I will put my email address you can put yours so whatever uh, email address you want to use here you can simply put it here then simply click on next button which is coming here it will take some time and then it will ask you for this mobile number okay so we can provide mobile number because these are things is related uh, to your authentication so it's always good to provide these necessary details because if you provide your mobile number so you can get the required OTPs if you are providing email so your account will be set up on the basis of that only okay then you can simply click on next button 
once you click on next button it will ask you for the password and the password should be of eight or more characters so use two of the following letters numbers or symbols okay so I'll accordingly I can create my password here so I just created my password and then you can simply click on next button so once you click on next button it will ask for some personal information okay so make sure that these information matches with your official ID because everything is related to transactions and financial things so make sure that you are providing the right data here you can mention your nationality for example I am operating it this I want to upload this account from India and my nationality is India so I can simply choose India here okay so we have to mention our nationality here okay let me correct one thing that we are not going to select from where we are going to use it we have to mention our um, if I am the user then I have to mention my nationality here okay then you can put your first name so I'll put mine if you have if you have any middle name you can put it here otherwise you can skip this and simply put your last name then we are supposed to uh, fill up the date of birth okay so I'll put my date of birth here and then simply click on next button once you click on next button it will show you this uh, new window which is asking for your address so make sure to use your billing address proper billing address okay so I'll put my billing address here similarly for the address line 2 if you have any address line 2 then you can fill up your city and state so to select the state you can click on this drop down and it will ask for your state and then you can select it then we have pin code option so it's better to provide pin code so I'll put my pin code and then we have option by clicking the button below I have agreed to bound by PayPal's user agreement and privacy statement so before using this application you can check out this thing like what is user agreement what are the privacy statement and once you are comfortable with it then you can simply select this option and then the second option is I agree to receive marketing communications from PayPal I can change my notification preference at any time okay so if you want to select this you can select otherwise you can simply unselect this and click on agree and create account okay once you click on agree and create account it will take few seconds and then it will ask for your uh, card details okay so here's one thing like if you don't want to set up this thing now it's okay you can simply refresh your page and you can log in into your account but if you want to set up it right now so what you can do I'll just give you an example you can put your credit card or debit card number here you can select card type like there are various card type available Visa, MasterCard, American Express, Discover, Diners Club so you can select your card type for example if I want to go with MasterCard I can select it here then you can put your expiry date of your card so let's say I want to mention it like this so I'll just simply fill up it here and then then you can put the security code okay so you or CSC code so you can just simply put it here and then we are good to click on link card okay so you can simply click on link card and it will automatically link your card okay but if you want to check out other things first and then later you want to set up your card it's completely okay then in that case you can refresh your browser uh, from here and then just go back to PayPal website again let me show you how okay and then you can click on login okay so once you click on login it will take you to your account so you can see now we are on our account and it is showing your identity verification is pending because we have not set the set up the card yet and uh, like we also need to uh, s verify the email address and all other required things okay fine but we are we have created our account right so from here like you can see there are various options options send and request payment method activity so activity panel will show you all the activities which we are which we have performed so far then we have help section where you will find all the uh, information related to your help for this PayPal account okay so these things you can explore one by one and the uh, UI part is quite simple you can see it's it's quite simple right we have one option for sending the payment get the payment okay then we have a send again option 
recent activity would be shown here bank and card would be shown here and you can simply click on link a card bank account so if you if you have not set up it yet you can simply click here link a uh, card or bank account and it will allow you to link it again clear so this is how we can set up the paypal account and we have just discussed the basic thing maybe in the upcoming session we will discuss few more advanced thing related to paypal account okay so yeah that's all for today in the next session we will discuss few more things so thank you for watching tech Sharmat.